a good idea. What are you saying, Mija? Throw yourself into this mess. To just force so much responsibility onto yourself like this. One kid is enough, but three kids? Teenage boys? Two, considering Sebastian's almost... <sighs> you know what I mean, Javi. I... <sighs> Ever since the night I met Adam, met either of the kids, I knew I had to step up to make sure it wouldn't happen again. He's a good kid. I... I just... Uprooting him, us, and moving to Earth? Ganeo is a safe place, Mija. Good schools, clean air, miles of ocean view. I know it's not your home, but I'll do everything I can to make sure you'll be okay. I've got plenty of family there, too. Your boys will be surrounded by nothing but love there. <sighs> On base or off base? Four bed, three bath house off base. Full backyard and everything. <laughs> Oh, so you're thinking what? A dog and a white picket fence now? <laughs> We've already got Chewy. We can mark the dog up the list. <coughs> hey, Adam. Adam, honey, I know it's early, but we may need to talk over some things. Any progress on the others? Callahan, Odisanya, Mikolov, Owens, and Paywai are all keeping quiet. And Zuskovich? <sighs> Severe panic attack. Bashed his own head against the damn table to shut himself up. Medics are trying to stabilize him as we speak. <sighs> damn it! I'll have Weber and her team on standby. If we can't get what we need from Campo willingly- That's a last resort, Briar. Just see what else you can do with the others. Campo, I'm only gonna remind you of this once. This is an interrogation. Not the time or place to be napping. It's a little hard to stay awake after a 120 hour trip, Commander. Tell me, Campo, just how bad were your previous injuries? You should know, considering you've got my records. I'm asking you, Campo. Both of my arms were mangled in the blast. They had to amputate. The fall was enough to break my spine and pelvis, and... Let's just say I shouldn't be here right now. So why are you here? Excuse me? You said it yourself. I shouldn't be here right now. Spartan operations only take able-bodied candidates into their programs. And considering your prior hospitalization, personally, if I were June, I wouldn't have touched you with a ten-foot pole. <clears throat> How much do you remember from your time in the hospital? Bits and pieces. I was in a coma for almost a year, Holloran. And this... Elysian program? You sure you want to go there? It's this or sitting in solitary until the Infinity arrives. 300 hours in a 6x6 cell is really what you'd want? <sighs> Jesus. Who was the last person to examine his patient's skull? That would have been... Dr. Ligari, ma'am. Finding leftover shrapnel lodged in mandible maxilla and pariel. Fucking, it's a mess. I'll move as much as I can. God only knows what he could have missed on the scans. And with Lagari? Report him to the medical director. That's not a slip up to be taken lightly, nor ignored. I. Hold on. I think.
think I may have found an abnormality. How me that bone saw? Bone saw. Never thought I'd see the kid like this. I've seen what plasma does to people. Remember that Polish kid from 142nd? Got half his face and torso blown off by that shit. You think he can hear us? Uh, hey. What's his name again? Adam. Hey, Adam. It's, uh, us. Your buddy's from the 7th. Oh, man, the 15th 7th. We got the memo about what happened. Sheesh, man. Blowing up a scarab. <laughs> uh, we could have used you on the ice with Chief. Brought you a bottle of buckshot. Had to pull some strings to get that shit all the way from Dallas. I'm sure it'll still be fresh by the time you wake up. You mean, if he wakes up? It's been, what, a month of him being a wired vegetable? Kid's a fighter. Trust me. If he weren't, the big man upstairs would have had him shipped out by now. Well... We're all here for you, Adam. Now you just hang on a little longer, kid. You'll pull through. Mrs. Campo, I think you need to consider the gravity of your son's situation. I'm not taking him off life support. Ma'am, please. He's been in a comatose state for almost three months. Adam has flatlined almost three times since then, and each time has just worsened his overall condition. Keeping him alive is only increasing his pain. I've already lost my brother to this war. I'm not about to lose my own son. I understand that, but... <laughs> Doctor, what else is there? What, what can you do? This is my son we're talking about. <sighs> At this stage, I would suggest preparing to take Adam off of life support and make him as comfortable as possible while doing so. However... Given the circumstances, I'll see to running further tests for possible brain activity before consulting you on, on our options again. Again, I'm truly sorry about all no, of this. No, no need to apologize. Just do what you can, Doctor. Please. Adam? Adam, listen closely, if possible. I need you to follow this light for me. Can you tell me your name, first and last? Uh, um, um, oh. Adam, my name is Dr. Burson. I've been your primary physician for the duration of your stay. <clears throat> ah, right. This is Dr. Cherniovsky. He is the orthopedic surgeon to oversee most of your surgeries. Ah, of course. All surgeries, mind you. I was the only one with enough know-how how to handle more. Unique case such as this one. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Dysartia is common in coma patients after regaining consciousness. It takes a while for your body to realize it's active once more. Give it time. Five months ago, you were involved in the explosion of a scarab. The combination of plasma, C12 demolition charges, and a nine-story fall. Well, to be honest with you, Lance Corporal, it should have killed you. I have my arm. I Last that I checked, your sergeant, the remainder of the battalion, are alive and well. 
Lance Corporal Adam, you suffered extremely traumatic injuries that day. As a result, surgery was necessary to save what limbs and tissue we could. If you look here, the brunt of the blast as well as the impact of the fall led to significant damage to the spinal cord. The T6 thoracic vertebrae to be exact. Um, we did as much as we could to clear out the bone splinters and relieve your pressure. And your arms, I... Both were unrecoverable. The combination of the initial detonation and plasma destroyed both the flesh and bone to an extent. Transhumeral amputation for the left arm. And shoulder disarticulation for the right. It was a miracle that I could even find the living tissue in the first place. There are quite a few options when it comes to recovery. Prosthetics are very possible. Besides the prosthetics, your situation is dire. We need you to understand that with your injuries, being able to return to normalcy may never be in, how you say, in the cards for you. While we were able to avoid a situation of tetraplegia, we couldn't avoid the result of paraplegia. And any injuries that you may have sustained to your legs, your thighs even, it will be almost impossible for your body's receptors to recognize the pain. This is an upside of it. Bodily functions below the chest will be increasingly difficult, although therapy may help them. <coughs> Here, honey, drink some water. Ma, really? Fine. <laughs> You're joking, yes. Insurance is going to be the best of the longest one infection. An anonymous benefactor came forward to sponsor Lance Corporal Campos' stay at the facility. He has nothing to worry about. Hey, all 980,000 of it. Like I said, it's cut. So, it's almost Mateo's decathlon. Maybe if we convince the doctors, they can let you out early? Mom. <coughs> I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. I know, I know. It was I just a thought. Me, I'm stable. Elaborate. Since he's returned to consciousness, Adam hasn't adjusted properly to the recovery protocol. He's on a feeding tube due to his refusal to eat. Panic attacks are increasing in severity, and he refused physical therapy on many, many occasions. All easily treatable with the program, Doctor. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> Lance Corporal Adam, this is... Lieutenant Senapak. Uh, another medal? They awarded him with the Legion of Honor last month. I'm not here to award any medals, Lance Corporal. I'm here on behalf of... a client. Do you have time to talk? <laughs> It's not like I'm going anywhere. I'll see you soon, okay, sweetheart? I love you, Karina. All right, um... <coughs> love you, too. Ten minutes. That is all. I won't take more than five. I'll admit, when your file reached my desk, I wasn't expecting an injury report to involve a scarab. And to survive plasma injuries? It's impressive. An accident. <coughs> I'm not even supposed to be alive. Exactly why I'm here to speak with you, Lance Corporal. I was sent on behalf of the Elysian program. For the new veteran outreach project, to be exact. We specialize in more experimental treatments in rehabilitation. Our clientele typically consists of more successful people, as we, well, my employers like to put it. Considering your case and background, you would be the third out of 20 veterans to be accepted into the program. You'll have access to private lodging and full amenities, nothing less, of course. 
an AI will be provided to keep track of your mental and physical health. But you'll have a personalized team of physicians to assure that you're 100% throughout the duration of your stay. It's optional, but if you want, you'd have a choice of being housed with other veterans. Marines, even. You're saying all of this as if I'm going to agree to go. Lance Corporal, I'm going to be very blunt with you here. You're dying. Your lungs, heart, and kidneys, practically almost every organ in your body, are all ruined beyond repair from plasma damage. These doctors here, they've done little more than to keep you comfortable until you're back on a ventilator. I guarantee in three months' time, if not sooner, they'll break the news to you. That's... that's bullshit. I crunch statistics and probability for a living, Adam. And where you're sitting right now, your chances of making it past 25 are in the negatives. The Elysian Project can change that. Why should I believe any of this? We are the only rehabilitation program in the immediate system with access to private sector equipment. Hayashida, Kabalchuk, Boazchik. You name it, we have it. You'll get another chance at life, Adam. Should things go well, I can guarantee that you'll have your legs back. My number's on that hollow. Should you change your mind, don't be afraid to call. I will warn you, this offer comes with time constraints. It's unexplainable. We're doing everything we can to guide him through the recovery process, but his body is plasma poisoning. How, how did he miss it? He is spiraling into the negatives by the day. At this rate, his kidneys and pancreas are all going to fail by next week. There's no telling when his respiratory system could be the next to go. You and I Please. know there's only one way to Please. go, Bert. Please. Please. Oh, I hope you're aware of how early it is. Please. I just... I just want this to end. I'll... I'll, I'll do anything. Just hold on, Adam. I'll have a transport team to you oh. within the hour. You'll be in safe hands. <laughs> has a 45% chance of surviving this. I knew he was in rough shape, but this is grisly. I haven't seen this much damage outside of a morgue.
If memory serves me correctly, you're now one out of only four marines to be included here. Low numbers, in my opinion. And I can fully guarantee that you aren't dead. But between you and me, you were close to that status approximately six days ago. It's all a long story, really. I'm sure someone more qualified will be able to explain it all to you in full. Ah, I see you've already been introduced to Tempest. This is Dr. Hopkins. I, alongside my dedicated staff, will be handling your case carefully and precisely for the duration of your stay. What the fuck did you do to me? Dr. Hopkins, I'm detecting sinus tachycardia within the Lance Corporal. You can rest easy. There is no need to become upset. If you'll allow me, I can explain everything on the way to the director's office. No, I got it. This is the shared living area. As you can see, there are a few of your bunkmates here. Although they've been residing in these corridors for a little longer than we have. <laughs> oh, so the Mills on Wheels is finally up and awake, huh? <laughs> Fuck off. That's enough, gentlemen. You think we'll get to know each other soon enough. Gunnar? Good morning. I assume your session went well. For such a rich facility, your people have a hard time looking for the new arm. Before we start, I'd like to sincerely apologize for the lack of transparency in your being here. We had to make sure to keep you below a severe level of distress. Right. Shut the fuck you did. First things first, I'd like right. to welcome you to the Elysium the facility. I am Christian Einer's daughter, the primary medical director. Dr. Hopkins and Dr. Stoyich personally oversaw your emergency surgery shortly upon your arrival. Speaking of which, I'm sure you're eager- Knowing what the hell you people did to me? Would be nice to get answers for once. Pertaining to your surgery, it would be an understatement to say that your case was difficult. What makes this program so unique is that we are one of only three rehabilitation facilities in the Soul System to have access to the Haddam engine. Excuse me? The Haddam engine, Lance Corporal. Shortly after the war ended, we, along with a few other programs, were gifted with Sanghili technology as a means of repairing the damages of war, as I'd like to put it. We were able to lease it from Biva Haddam. In his culture, the very idea of healing is controversial at best. Most would die a warrior's death rather than live a cripple. After the end of the war, Biva thought it beneficial to both parties that we learn the Sanghili ways of health. The Haddam engine is what saved your life, Lance Corporal. Its main purpose is to repair damaged tissue while mitigating all effects of poisoning, viruses, and cancerous cells, even. While it can't regenerate missing limbs, it was enough to flush your system of plasma poisoning. However, we found that the engine had a rather unintended effect. This concerns your paralysis. We've seen the Haddam engine reverse minor nerve damage, but this... It's almost a complete reversal of the initial injury. We can't even begin to explain how this occurred. No, no. They told me it couldn't be fixed. You're lying out of your asses. Lance Corporal, if I may, neither Stoich or Hopkins are lying to you about this. Your case is exceptionally unique, and all the more reason why we'd like to make you an offer. All we ask for is four months of your time. We can guarantee you a full recovery, but your treatment regimen will be purely experimental from here on out. You may get your legs back, but I need you to understand that it's going to be extremely, well, risky. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Four months. Four months and I'll... I'll be fixed? We'll make sure of it. <sighs> Let me guess. Head bag and gas mask. Ah, come on. You can't be sour about that earlier still. I guess you could say that, Major. Hey, whoa, no need for formalities now. 
<laughs> my mama named me Bam. Everyone calls me Bam. And this is Malcolm. Ah, don't mind him. He's been like this even in special ops. Mm. So, you know the Jarhead? Don't tell me one of those only spooks, are you? Third Battalion, 9th Marines. Kodiak. Tough dudes to roll with, that's for sure. So you ran with the infantry? It's early and I'm trying to eat, man. I didn't ask to play 20 questions. I didn't either. Tolerate him now. He'll keep prying. Listen, kid. He's a small place out here. To be honest, I'm just looking out for you. I'm sure the last thing you need is Leif Erikson over here shoving magic shrooms down your throat at 0100. The Viking? Frontierborn. Hofund is native. Don't let the face paint fool you. The dude worships some scary shit. You'll get used to the crazies around here soon enough. Group therapy is where you'll really get to know some of the people here. Dad will show up tonight. Hmm. It's Sunday already? <laughs> Hey, you good? <laughs> Lost you there for a sec. I'm heading back to my bunk. Did I say something wrong? You always say something. Just, just call me Adam, please. Adam, I'm detecting heart palpitations and an increase in blood pressure. All signs of an anxiety attack. Fine. I just need some sleep. But it's still morning? You I... still have a scheduled appointment with your new physical therapist. Come on. Four months. Just four months. Just four months. <laughs> 